Hi everybody. I wanted to do a quick little video on how I'm setting up my 2019 bullet journal for January. And this is just a starter. I'm sure I'll be doing more as the month goes on, but I wanted to get ready since the new year is coming in just a couple days. So we're going to go through setting up my index, setting up my sort of monthly spread and, and how I like to do that. And then my first weekly spread. Um, and then I also have some goals and you can kind of see that, that my marker bled through, but I'm going to show you how I went through and set up my goals as well. So let's get started. So here I am working through my index and I wanted to use some of the items that I currently have in my stash. So I decided to stamp my index and I got out some stamps. I believe they're from Inkadoo, Inkadinkadoo. Um, and so you can see here, I'm just trying to make sure I'm lining things up and have enough room to, to put everything in. These were kind of big letters. And then after I get that done, um, this is always the first page of my journal. So once I get that done, I mark everything down in my index so that if I want to find something later, I can easily do that. So coming up here, I'm going to start with the first thing that I have in this journal, which is going to be January. And I started with one pen and wasn't really crazy about it. And I do kind of go over it with another one. And most of the time I won't go putting, you know, pretty pens in here. I just use whatever pen I have to make sure I have things marked in my index. But I wanted to get things started in a colorful way. And so that's how I got that started. So here I am working on my monthly spread. And my monthly spread is pretty much a standard bullet journal setup. I do get a little bit artsy with my lettering and things like that. But on the left hand side, you can see I have my vertical month planned out. I have my weekends highlighted and I just put down every single day and then what um, day of the week it is. And then on the right hand side, I like to have sort of a monthly overview of things I need to get done. So things that don't have a specific date, tasks and things like that, I'll put at the top. I'll just have this month and then I'll put in different things that I need to make sure I get completed in the month. And then below that, I also like to track my bills and my spending. So um, I like to do that in the second half on the right hand side. And you can see here um, a lot of the decoration that I do, I do with pencil first and then go over in pen. And I also use my washi tape to kind of give it some, some flair. So that's an easy way to have a nice look without having to be real creative if you're not or if you're low on time. I love using all the different washi tapes that I have and just putting them in there to make everything look nice and pretty. Then to finish things up, I just erase my pencil lines and then this spread will be ready for me to use here coming soon in the next couple days. Okay, and the last spread that I wanted to show you is my 2019 goal planning spread. Um, I usually pick some categories and then do some brainstorming in each category for setting my goals for each year. And I have six categories that I'm gonna set up. And because I wanted to make sure I had them, you know, sort of all on the same page, I ended up adding this little tip in here to my journal. So I just used some scrapbook paper and some washi tape to kind of tape that in and have it so that I could have each of my goal categories um, on a section of this spread here. And after I put the tip in, in, you can see that I'm just dividing my pages into my six sections and then I will do a little bit of decoration for them to set them up. And so here we're getting started putting the different categories on. Um, I picked six to start with. I may do some more later. We'll see how they go after I do some brainstorming on these six. I might end up, you know, doing another spread if I feel like I need to or want to set some different goals. Um, the goals that I have set up for the categories that you see here are family, personal, health, finances, adventure, and business. Um, and so I'm going to get those started and you can see I was using some colorful markers and just as a warning if you're using markers like I am they do tend to bleed through so you might want to watch that or you know put them on sticky papers first before you write them in your journal. I don't usually let stuff like that bother me. Um, I like this to be fun 
and I really want it to be useful. So um, I like it to be colorful, so it's fun to look at, but I really want it to be something that I will use and make use of. So that's really my goal here. So even though it bled through a little bit, I'm okay with that. And the last thing I'm gonna do just to add some, some more little decoration and fun to it is I'm just putting some underlines there to separate the category topic from my brainstorming when I start to do that. And um, the last thing is I'll put some, just some little flair on the underlines there, make it fun. And I'm doing this in black ink because I'll probably be brainstorming just in whatever I have handy. Make it useful. That's definitely what I wanna do. So I'm finishing up here and I hope that you've enjoyed this video on setting up a 2019 January bullet journal. I hope that you get out and do the same yourself. Thanks for watching.